Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me again in this video. Today is day two of our 12 days of collection mess where every day for 12 days in December, I will be sharing with you a little piece of my luxury collection. And today's collection is going to be my Gucci handbag collection. So if you are new here, hi, welcome. My name is June. I'm a doctor by day and I make YouTube videos in my spare time. If you love vintage handbags, all things luxury, you will love it here. So please subscribe and join my little YouTube YouTube family and if you don't already follow me on Instagram and that is where I will post a lot of how I style these bags and wear them so do go and give me a follow there today is day two of our 12 days of collection mess and if you haven't checked out Meredith she is the person who inspired me to do this video she was the one who originally came up with this idea and I absolutely loved it so please go and check out her YouTube channel living Lux with Meredith I will put it in the info bar below along with her Instagram handle she is actually doing a video every single single day in December so if you love luxury collection videos you will love it over there go and check her out um, so today is day two I thought I'd change it up a little bit and sort of switch out the brands and do my Gucci collection today I have really started to love Gucci in the last 12 months I've actually really ramped up how many Gucci bags I've purchased I really do love the Gucci monogram to me it feels a bit more wearable the Louis Vuitton monogram I love in bags but I definitely think that Gucci in shoes in bags and clothing um, I like the aesthetic of that more so before I actually get on to my Gucci collection I wanted to let you guys know that I'm actually holding a handbag giveaway with Hawkeye Vintage on my Instagram we are actually giving away this Gucci bag so this is the vintage Gucci tote and I wanted to share this one because I absolutely love it and you guys still have a chance to win this if this is something you love and are interested to add into your collection Go and check out my Instagram. It's really easy to enter. You just have to follow me, Hawkeye Vintage, and tag three friends. And that is it. And the winner is drawn December 22nd. So still quite a while to go. Um, I just, I love this bag. It is just a giant tote. It's got the iconic Gucci Sherry web strap there. The interior is pretty plain, just quite a simple interior. And then it does actually have a pocket at the front. That is nice and convenient to put like your phones, your wallet, whatever you need. So I love this one. I'm actually thinking of adding this one to my collection also, but this one we are actually giving away. So go and check out my Instagram. I will put it in the info bar below. And then from my collection, the first bag I wanted to share is actually this beautiful vintage Gucci bag so this bag was I think my first Gucci bag and this is just a Gucci camera bag I got it really cheap I think I got it for about 500 Australian dollars or just under I think this was around about the Marmont time when Gucci was getting a lot of traction they released the Gucci Princeton loafers and the Marmont bags were coming out but I really liked this Gucci um, canvas because Gucci do come out in cloth and canvas and I love the canvas because it reminds me of Louis Vuitton, how it's quite wearable and durable. This is vintage so you can see there is a bit of wear on the straps there. The interior is actually leather lined, it's not in a terrible condition. And then it's got this cute little GG closure there. It's got a non-adjustable strap. The strap is actually a perfect length for me. So I love the strap on this. It just falls really nicely on me. And then, yeah, it doesn't have any pockets. But this one's a little cutie. Um, the only thing I worry about this is the straps here. I will admit, I actually haven't been wearing this one ever since I got one of my recent Gucci bags and I think I might just share that now. This is one of my latest Gucci editions. I added it last year, I think. No, this year. Honestly, February feels like I did that last year um, and it was actually this year. So a lot of the bags I mentioned in my previous video, I said I bought last year but it was actually this year um, but yeah so this is one of my recent Gucci editions again it's in this really beautiful um, sort of uh, PVC canvas as you can see they're quite similar but I've loved this one because it kind of reminds me of the newer Gucci bags at the moment and also I love how you can wear it as a short um, shoulder bag but then also extend it and make it a um, long crossbody bag so this is what it looks like. Got this for a really good price. I think just over a thousand, which for the condition of this Gucci is pretty good, um, especially with like how amazing it looks. The best part is actually the interior because you can see 
that there are gussets on the side but if you open it up it's actually so spacious inside it doesn't have all those little dividers that can really limit the space in a bag and what you can fit in I absolutely love that the interior is this beautiful chocolate leather lining which is so nice and then it's got a really nice pocket this is yeah in amazing condition this is one of my favorite Gucci bags at the moment I'm absolutely in love with it and it is definitely a most used Gucci bag right now and just because I have this I definitely haven't been a reaching for this one so this may or may not be on the chopping block once I do my collection video I will go through all my handbags and do like maybe a vlog sale because I think this is going to give me the opportunity to go through everything and decide what has been been something I keep using and um, what needs to just go so that's the second bag I think the next bag that I got when I started out with Gucci is actually this Gucci leather bum bag I got it in the small size um, this isn't something I reach for very often as a day-to-day -day bag um, this was when the Gucci like waist belt bags and bum bags were really in fashion I remember that circle belt bag being really popular I'm so glad I didn't get it I actually thought it was ugly and <laughs> Didn't love that one, but I did get this one instead. This actually came in white and a larger version I really wish now I got the larger version instead of the smaller size I got the smaller size because I wanted an actual like belt bag that I can wear around the waist And this is definitely something I do wear like just going for walks and you know going for runs and when I get a dog I do plan on maybe using this as a doggy walking bag but um, this has a specific purpose at the moment and I just don't think that I would get like much back from it so this one is just hanging around in my collection I do like this bag I'm not gonna lie like I think it's beautiful I just wish I did get the bigger version because the bigger version I could wear as a crossbody or as a mini shoulder bag and I feel like I just get a lot more day-to-day -day wear out of that one one, whereas this is very very specific so that's that one and then after that I think this is the other Gucci back that I got this is the Gucci Marmont mini this was so so popular and I actually just waited a little bit because um, they were just so well hyped and I think I got it for like a pretty good price I think around a thousand it was retailing for one one or something but I managed to get 15% off like with the cash bag um i think on amex through net porte i don't know it was something crazy and i was able to pick it up for an absolute steal i got it in the black this came in like beige and white i think and also like red the black is just a very simple versatile color i mean you can't really go wrong with the black and wear as a pouch as a clutch top handle shoulder crossbody um waist belt and i kind of think i might add like a chain so i can wear it as a short top handle and it does fit enough it does fit like my phone it does fit my keys i still really like this one so yeah that is the gucci super mini this one isn't going anywhere anytime soon so the next bag is actually this medium size marmont in the gorgeous sort of like candy barbie pink color it's kind of like purpley pink so it's quite a different pink to any of the other pink bags in my collection i am a sucker for pink bags for whatever reason however i will say this one is a little bit more difficult to style just because of the very purple undertones of this oh, i can't tell you how undecided i am about this bag on whether i should keep it or not because it's such a beautiful color i just wish i didn't get it in the large like i really think if I got it in like a mini or a small like Marmont flap, I would wear it um, a lot more. I just don't reach for bigger bags lately, but I think this styles really well with the beiges and creams. Um, it's hard to style with pink because you have to have the right pink, but maybe purple. I'm more or less leaning towards keeping it and just trying to wear it and style it a bit more just because it's so, it's such a beautiful pop of color, but we will see. I am just hanging onto this one for now because I just love the color and looking at it makes me happy. Um, it's got the beautiful love heart on the back which i think is so cute i think this mini one does too i love that detail i think some people really hated that but i think that that detail is so cute and then yeah if you open it up it's pretty plain i think it just comes with like a 
beige suede lining. There's not really much to this bag. That is my Marmont flap. Another Gucci bag that I purchased was this vintage Gucci. Uh, this one I'm actually thinking of selling just because I haven't used her very much. This is in the canvas material, but this is in the blue Gucci print and it's got a navy leather trim. This one is quite unique and very special. I think this is pretty rare. I haven't seen this very often, but it does also come in the brown, like a light brown. I quite like the structure of this. It's kind of like a camera bag or binocular bag. This is in fair sort of vintage condition. I think it's pretty good. Like I think for a vintage bag, you really can't ask all that much in terms of like the condition but the only thing is I guess the interior is like a little bit worn so you can see there peeling on the top and then the interior has like a suede feeling which is quite nice crossbody is quite short so this is definitely meant to be like just as a shoulder bag or you can wear it as a crossbody if you're petite like me but I just haven't worn it so I do think I'm gonna let this one go so I will be putting this one up on a blog sale so keep an eye out if this is something you're interested in this bag right here is the Gucci boat bag in the beautiful lilac cloth uh, material very subtle Gucci print there um, I haven't really worn this one very often so this is actually also on the chopping block as much as I love purple bags it's such a pastel color and I don't really wear pastel I wear like deeper colors so I, I think if this was in a different print I would wear this one out more but I do think that the Gucci boat bag is a bag that's still quite affordable and you can get it in a variety of different colors and prints so if you're after like a Gucci handbag this is a good one the interior of this just looks like that so there's no real pockets um it's just pretty plain actually but i think it's pretty cute it's definitely more of a top handle bag but you can wear it under your armpit if you really wanted to but yeah it's definitely a crook of the arm bag or a top handle but that is the gucci boat bag and then another purple gucci bag i have is actually this croissant bag in the um, Gucciissimo. This is actually a purple leather bag. I was able to pick this up for I think $600 from Vestiaire, so pretty well priced, but it does have a bit of like wrinkling of the leather. I think I just need to play around with this more, like maybe put a heavy weight on here and then put it on a hook so that it it sort of molds a little bit better because this is such a cute little bag, a little croissant bag that is pretty popular at the moment. The interior is really beautiful actually. Let me just show it to you. It's got this horse bit cloth design in like purple and green. Um, so quite cute. But yeah, this is my purple Gucci leather bag. And um, yeah, I just need to wear this one more to be honest. One of my older pieces, this bag I actually purchased from DCT Vintage. This is the Gucci Jackie bag. Um, this is actually a variation of the Jackie bag. This is the Jackie piston bag. The reason it's called the piston bag is because of this little little hook design it's actually really cool and you guys told me about this so if you pull on the lock it actually opens it up and can unclasp it and so you can actually completely detach the um the strap and maybe attach like a web strap or a like a longer crossbody strap and you can wear it as a sling bag so this is really cool i love this one i like the warm brown um trim on this it comes in a variety of different colors it comes in um i think blue black and you can even get this in a smaller size so in the mini i got it i think in just like the medium i've always thought about maybe adding the mini as well because i, I just think it's so cute but we will see because i'm a little bit of a nut um as you guys saw saw with my Louis Vuitton collection video I add like mini versions of a bag that I love I think if I can find this in the mini in a good price I may add it but I just don't know if I need it like I mean let's be honest you don't really need any new bags but you know I just don't know if it's like different enough to this for me to wear it um I think if I got that one I'd have to pick this or the other but 
Anyways, I'm just rambling, but we will see. I actually really like the Jackie, and I'm thinking of adding more. I know that the Jackie bag is a bit Marmite, but I really like it. What do you guys think? And then all these other bags, I think I actually got in the last 12 months. First one I will share with you is this one. This is from Hawkeye Vintage. This is actually the um, vanity bag. This is in the black cloth with the GG print. I really like this one. This is so good to wear as a top handle for a nighttime bag. This is supposed to be a vanity, I think, but I use it as like a little mini bag. I absolutely love it and I wear this one quite a lot actually. I wasn't sure if I'd get much out of it because it is a black bag, but because it's top handle, it works really well for dinners and nighttime events. So this is a really cute one. Here, there's a pocket on top where you can put like coins um, and whatnot. And then the inside actually has these loops where you can put, I guess, lip sticks but obviously I don't use that so that's that one recent additions but definitely a strong favorite is this one is the Gucci Abbey bag this is actually quite a common bag you'll see this quite a lot um, in a variety of different colors and finishes I got it with the brown cloth um, GG print with the off-white leather trim I think that white leather trim makes it really fresh and um, it's perfect for um, spring summer and I've actually been wearing this quite a lot so this is a definite favorite in my edition I cannot recommend this one enough I think you can pick these up for really good prices and you can even get it in an all at the bag if you don't like the Gucci GG print and this is actually why I'm really thinking I don't need this bag at all because they're quite similar because um, I thought of adding this in a different color but they're so similar that I, I don't think I really need to reach for this one because yeah they look exactly the same but I find that I do like this one more just because you can wear it on um, under your armpit just like that so that is the Gucci Abbey love 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 her this is a cheapy this one I just added really as a styling piece I got this one for like 300 Australian dollars and this is the Gucci Boston bag how cute is the heart detail the reason this was so cheap is because it's a PVC coated canvas so that's why it's a bit shiny and they call this the crystal um, crystal leather but um, you can see the plastic is peeling off a little bit just like that where there's creasing you can see it more there but overall the rest of the bag is actually in really good condition it's just that PVC it's quite a fun bag to style I think it reminds me of the Louis Vuitton Papillon but I have this because I have a lot of Gucci um, canvas shoes and I like to pair my bags and my shoes together I know I'm crazy and I like sort of styling this it's very 2000s and yeah it's just a bit of fun um, and it wasn't too expensive uh, would I add this in better condition to my collection maybe if it wasn't too overpriced because I suspect that this peeling will happen with all these kind of bags which is a shame because I actually really like the look of this one I like sort of that shiny finish to it it's a waterproof bag as well because it is coated in that um, PVC but um, yeah I don't know we'll see I'm just happy to have this because I actually do wear this one quite a lot for something that I paid not a lot for but yeah that is the uh, Gucci Boston bag and then the last couple of bags I've got two of a very similar style I know like why do you need to I actually bought this one initially and I absolutely loved it you guys know Gucci is currently releasing the Gucci horse bit clutch bag which is really a re-release of this I actually can't believe I only discovered this when Gucci re-released this I actually love the the look of this clutch I wish I had known about it sooner I definitely would have purchased it this is the vintage version the newer ones they're coming out with is an all leather and they actually have I don't know if they're doing the smaller size but they definitely have like the oversized larger clutches the oversized clutches are available vintage and they come in a really beautiful like crystal embellished details I just got a plain one which is in this chocolate brown because before I purchased this I actually 
purchased a pair of boots, um, like a Gucci pair of boots, which I love and I use all the time. And it actually has a bit of this brown trim, so I thought they pair perfectly together and I actually do love wearing them together. I do have photos on my Instagram. I'll try to include photos, but I can't sort of promise that because adding photos is so much more work and I'm really just trying to get these videos out really quickly. Um, but this is what this looks like. It has this oversized horse bit clutch detail and then when you open it up the interior looks just like that there is no closure you're actually just slipping um, the flap behind the horse bit and then this does come with this really beautiful gold strap which allows you to wear it on your shoulder or you can wear it as a clutch you can actually slip your hand in there and hold it this way you can actually remove this and put a crossbody strap on here so a really versatile piece I really do love this bag and um, so much so that when I saw this on the luxury closet I think which is a Dubai online luxury consignment store I had to get it um, it's got this beautiful like gold stitching there and um, this is actually in a way better condition than this so that's why I wanted to add this one they are very similar clearly so I'm not sure if I'll keep both of them but how I think about it is this is kind of like a bag I can wear every day and not worry too much about it getting too worn and this is something i can preserve and keep nice and neat a little bit longer do you guys have that like it's like when you have a spare top because you love a particular top so much is that crazy <laughs> Maybe that is crazy, but that is me and I do have both. You don't need both because there is just really very minor differences But I think I definitely like this one more because I like that stud detail there um, And yeah, so those are my two horse bit clutches I would love to add like uh, different colors of this, but they are going up in price So we'll just wait and see but an oversized clutch version of this would be an amazing addition and then finally but certainly not the least this one I actually did recently add this I managed to pick up pretty cheap I think about 700 Australian dollars but this is a bum bag as you can see there it is just in the um, Gucci cloth monogram this one has just the brown detail I think you can get this with the red and the green web strapping and you can even get this in black you can get it in leather there's lots and lots of different variations of this Gucci bum bag but the reason I got it is because I I actually did sort of want to wear it on my waist similar to um, Carrie from Sex and City I loved how she styled this it was just fun and a, just a fun little styling piece as I mentioned in my previous video I think bum bags are a really fun way of adding um, a little spin to your outfit because they just wear and look different just a like normal typical bag this is how this looks like it's got this um, velcro strap on one side and then a, a zip pocket on the other side and then it's got a really wide gusset on the back which is where you would fit like your phone and money and, and things like that so really great travel bag you can sort of fold it bend it the only thing with um cloth bags is you can see there is a bit of wear on the corners um just because cloth tends to rub and it kind of get that bolding um on the corners so that's why i kind of prefer canvas or pvc as opposed to cloth but but this bag is still in pretty good condition so that is it you guys that is my gucci handbag collection that is day two of our 12 days of collection mess again thank you to Meredith for letting me um, borrow this idea from her I will link her channel in the info bar below she is doing it every day so if you love collection videos do check her out let me know what you think of Gucci are you also a fellow Gucci lover I'm really really into Gucci right now as you can see I love these bags you will see me styling on my Instagram so do give me a follow here again we are still running the giveaway so please make sure you enter I think it is a beautiful bag for you to win but that is it for from me today you guys I hope you enjoyed this video I'm hoping you're liking the series so far there's so many more days to go I am getting nervous it would really mean a lot if you give this video a thumbs up um, to sort of show your support because this is a lot of work especially leading up to Christmas but as always you guys I really really appreciate you watching and I hope you guys are having a wonderful week or weekend and I'll see you guys tomorrow bye